I demand, I demanded that he tell me the truth and let me out. But he refused. You are my princess. The only one that can keep you safe. His control over me changed everything. Over the next few years, I stopped being the sweet girl he used to know. I turned into a total troublemaker. I broke expensive vases he got from his travel. But when we were away from the walls, I couldn't help but scream. Yes, I made it out. Ah, what are you doing here? I needed to get out of there. You can take me to a new town, right? Are you joking? Your father will end. Just then, loud bells started ringing through the village. Alarms. They must know you're missing. I'm taking you back. No, please. I'm begging you. If I go back, my father will get me married to some stranger, and I'll be locked in there forever. Not my problem. I'll give you all the gold I have on me. I showed him the contents of my purse, and he agreed to help me right away. Yes! Arthur's carriage raced away from my village, and I finally got to see the outside world for real. Yes, there were dark, scary forests, but they ended soon, and we reached a bright town that was bursting with people. Arthur tried to leave me in the middle of the crowded square, but I held on to him. No, you have to keep me with you. Not a chance. There's going to be guards looking for you all over. I gave you all the gold I had. The least you can do is give me a place to sleep. One night, please. He groaned and took me to his house, complaining the whole way there. I got to meet Arthur's family. His mother and his little sister Gwen. When I told them the story of my escape, Gwen and his mother accepted me with open arms. I can't believe you've never been to school. You are much too young to be engaged. You can stay here until your father sees sense. Arthur protested, but the ladies shouted him down. They even had a secret basement to hide me in when the guards came to search everyone's houses. Even though they wanted to help me, living here was not easy. Even though I wore an elaborate disguise, Arthur's neighbors noticed I was new, and they were so nosy. All of them streamed into the house to ask who I was. Is she the lost girl? The one all the soldiers are searching for? No, I'm Arthur's cousin. Arthur doesn't have any cousins. We've known him our whole life. Who are you really? I thought I was done for, but Arthur stepped in and said, She's my fiance. Everyone gasped and my jaw was on the floor. She's from another village. She's visiting to see her future home. She's really shy, so please, stop staring at her. People walked away, whispering to each other, and I threw my arms around Arthur. Thank you. Now that everyone thought I was his fiancé, I was free to roam around town, and Gwen even took me to school. I got to play games I'd never even heard of, with more children than I've ever seen in my life. I was just getting used to being here, when one day, horses charged into town with my father's crest. I ran home and tried to get into the basement, but Arthur blocked the door. So sorry, Lily. Sorry? For what? Open the door! That was when my father marched right into the house and caught me. His men put me into his carriage and he thanked Arthur publicly. You must be rewarded for helping me find my daughter. From now on, you work for me. in my head. Father locked me in my room and put guards to watch me. And the most annoying part? He asked Arthur to be my servant. I was so furious with him that I wasn't going to touch anything he brought me. I sat in my room hungry and thirsty for hours. You're being childish. You have to eat. No! I'm sorry I betrayed you. My family was struggling every day outside. Your father offered a huge reward. I couldn't turn it down. agreed to his offer. He didn't even care when I said no. He has 
enough castles to amuse you your whole life, Lily. You'll love it. The day of my wedding was fixed, and I knew I had to run away somehow, but the day kept passing, and I could never get around the guards. There was no way out, and suddenly, the wedding day was here. An hour before the ceremony, Arthur ran into my chambers. You look incredible. What do you want? I'm freaking out. You want to run away, right? I can help you. I will never trust you. I have a plan. No one will see us. Come on. I had no other option. Arthur pulled a rope and we used it to climb down the walls. The town was empty. Everyone was in church for my wedding. We ran out of there at full speed. Arthur's family was waiting in his carriage too, and they hugged me tight as we rode off into the sunset. Why did you do this, Arthur? You just lost everything you got from my father. I felt too guilty for ruining your life. I can't believe it. I'd rather go back to his own He likes you. Shut up. Arthur rode to a friend's place two times over. For just two days, when I started hearing you the news about home, people were saying that a sickness was spreading through my town. Many were ill, and some were even dying. Arthur thought this was my father's trick to get me to come back. But I couldn't just ignore this. We found some horses and raced back to my town. My worst fears came true when I got there. Our only lake was covered in algae. The water was toxic, all the fish were dead, and anyone who drank the water became severely ill. Father, I'm here. Lily, you're all right. I thought I'd never see you again. I saw the lake. To leave this town. It's not safe here anymore. No, we built this place with our own two hands. We can't just leave. We have to fix this. There was no way to fix this. I had to do something. I ran out of the castle and began to rouse the whole town to get out of their houses. All the guards were sick, and there was no one to stop me. We have to leave. You all know it. This place has kept us safe for generations, but we won't last three days without water. I'm going to a nearby town. Anyone who wants to live can come with me. Lily, we can't do this. Yes, we can. You wanted me to be the chief of right? Don't stop me from doing my duty. One by one, the villagers packed up their things and followed me. We all I'm marched to, get to Arthur's old town, the and the people ending. there were I'll ready to help our weary and sick. Even though my father resisted, seeing his villagers' healing melted his heart. He agreed to merge with the town, and we shifted our gold and our possessions over the next few months. It was the start of a new beginning for our people. Everyone was happier to be out of the world, especially me. A few months after our town shifted, my father knelt before me with apologies. If not for you, oh I would have doomed all of our people. Yes, you would have. I was a complete fool. We are all lucky that you came for us, Lily. Can Let's you go. ever forgive me? Only if you promise to trust me. Let me make my own decisions and my own mistakes, Father. Can you do that? I promise. I will. It wasn't an easy promise to keep, but he tried his best. A few years after that move, Arthur and I fell madly in love with each other. I couldn't wait to be with him and his family. But when I broke the news to my father, he reacted poorly. I can't let you marry a milkman. You're a princess. Father, remember your promise? You have to trust me. He grumbled and gave Arthur an angry hug. Hurt my Keep thinking this a rent match, dude. Herbal essences gently nourishes with no like This was a rent match, damn. Let's 
Okay, what dams? Let's go. Give us so much homework. Shirley, you have not had your lunch yet? I'm so sweaty, my phone is literally covered in sweat. I don't know what's the lesson plan for tomorrow. Alright guys, gotta go, have a beautiful day, peace out.